the atmosphere crackled with anticipation. The iconic Rajko Mitic Stadium, a cauldron of red and white, awaited its gladiators. It was Champions League night in Belgrade. Kurvena Zvezda, the Serbian champions, were back in Europe's elite competition. They faced a stern test against Portuguese giants Benfica. The stage was set for a memorable encounter. Benfica, two-time European champions, arrived with a pedigree that demanded respect. The Eagles boasted a squad brimming with international talent. But Zvezda, roared on by their fervent supporters, were determined to show their mettle. This was their chance to prove they belonged amongst the continent's best. From the first whistle, the tempo was relentless. Kervena Zvezda, fueled by the deafening roar of their fans, flew out of the blocks. Their pressing was aggressive, their tackles fierce. They harried and hustled, disrupting Benfica's rhythm. The Serbian champions were determined to impose their will on the match. Benfica, however, weathered the early storm. Their experience and technical quality began to show. They slowed the game down, patiently passing the ball, probing for openings. The Portuguese side gradually established a foothold in the game. Their attacking trident, spearheaded by the dangerous Darwin Nunez, posed a constant threat. The first half was a tense affair, punctuated by moments of brilliance and near misses. Kervena Zvezda's Alexander Katai went close with a curling effort that sailed just wide. Benfica responded with Rafa Silva forcing a stunning save from Milan Borjan in the Zvezda goal. The tension on the pitch was mirrored in the stands. Every tackle, every pass, every decision was met with a cacophony of noise. The Rajko Midic Stadium was a cauldron of passion, urging their heroes forward. The atmosphere was electric, a testament to the power of football and the unwavering support of the Red Star faithful. As the first half wore on, Benfica's quality began to tell. Their intricate passing and movement stretched the Zvezda defense. The breakthrough came just before halftime. A slick passing move cut open the Serbian side, releasing Nunez into space. The Uruguayan striker kept his composure, slotting the ball past Borjan to give Benfica a crucial lead. The goal was a sucker punch for Kervena Zvezda and their fans. The stadium, so loud just moments earlier, fell into a stunned silence. Benfica, buoyed by their lead, ended the half in the ascendancy. They had weathered the storm and found a way through. Section 5. Halftime Reflections. A cagey battle unfolds. The halftime whistle blew with Benfica holding a slender 1-0 lead. The crowd buzzed with anticipation knowing that the game was far from over. The first 45 minutes had been a fascinating tactical battle. Both teams had shown their strategic prowess, making it a gripping contest for the fans. Kervena Zvezda's high-octane pressing had initially troubled Benfica. Their relentless energy and aggressive approach had put the Portuguese side on the back foot. However, the Portuguese side's experience and quality in possession had ultimately shown through. Their ability to control the tempo and dictate play was evident as they managed to break the press and create scoring opportunities. The second half promised to be just as intriguing. Both teams would need to adjust their tactics and find new ways to gain the upper hand. Could Kervena Zvezda find a way back into the match? Their fans certainly believed so, chanting and cheering with unwavering support. Or would Benfica's experience prove too much for the Serbian champions? The Portuguese side had shown their resilience and tactical acumen, making them a formidable opponent. The second half was set up perfectly. Both teams had everything to play for, and the stakes couldn't be higher. The tension in the air was palpable as the players re-emerged for the second half. The crowd's excitement reached a fever pitch, knowing that the next 45 minutes would be crucial in determining the outcome of this thrilling encounter. Section 6. Red Star Resurgence. Hope ignited. The atmosphere was electric, with fans chanting and waving flags, creating a sea of red and white. 
the second half began with Curvena Zvezda once again on the front foot. They were determined to turn the tide in their favor. They knew a goal was needed to get back into the match. The players' faces showed a mix of determination and focus, each one ready to give their all. Their efforts were rewarded just 10 minutes after the restart. The crowd's anticipation turned into jubilation. A corner kick was met by the head of Milan Pavkov, who powered his header past Odysseus Vlachodimos in the Benfica goal. It was a moment of sheer brilliance. The Rajko Mitic Stadium erupted. The noise was deafening. Fans jumped and hugged each other, celebrating the equalizer. Kervena Zvezda were back on level terms. The players' joy was evident as they high-fived and embraced. The goal injected renewed belief into the home side. The players' body language changed. They were now more confident and motivated. They pushed forward with even greater urgency, sensing an opportunity to complete a famous comeback. The fans' support grew louder, urging their team to victory. Section 7. Benfica's Onslaught a desperate search for victory. Benfica, stung by the equalizer, responded with a period of sustained pressure. They laid siege to the Kravena Zvezda goal, searching for a winning goal. Wave after wave of attacks crashed against the resolute Serbian defense. Borhan in the Zvezda goal produced a string of outstanding saves to keep his side level. Time and again, Benfica came close. Nunez was denied by the woodwork. Rafa Silva saw his shot cleared off the line. It seemed like a matter of time before the Portuguese side regained their lead. But Curvena Zvezda refused to buckle. Section 8. A draw for the ages. Red Star holds firm. The final whistle blew, signaling the end of a thrilling encounter. The score remained 1-1. Kervena Zvezda had held on for a famous draw against their more illustrious opponents. The Rajko Midic Stadium erupted once more, this time in celebration. It was a performance full of heart, determination, and no little skill. They had matched Benfica blow for blow and earned a deserved point. <laughs> Section 9. Echoes of a Classic. Respect earned on the pitch. In the world of football, respect is not just given. It is earned through hard-fought battles and moments of sheer brilliance on the pitch. The match will live long in the memory. It was a night where every pass, every tackle, and every goal seemed to carry the weight of history. It was a classic Champions League encounter. The kind of match that reminds us why we love this beautiful game, filled with tension, skill, and moments of pure magic. Two teams, playing with passion, commitment, and quality, served up a treat for the watching world. The intensity on the field was palpable, with every player giving their all. For Kervena Zvezda, it was a night of pride. Their fans roared with every touch of the ball, and the players responded with a performance that will be remembered for years. They had shown they could compete at the highest level, their determination and skill were on full display, proving that they belong among Europe's elite. Benfica, although disappointed not to secure all three points, could take heart from their performance. They played with a spirit and tenacity that showcased their quality. They had shown their class and resilience. Every player fought until the final whistle, demonstrating why they are a force to be reckoned with in European football. The draw was a fair reflection of a pulsating encounter. Both teams had their moments, and in the end, neither side could be separated. The Champions League had once again delivered a night of high drama and unforgettable moments in Belgrade. It was a reminder of why this competition is so special, bringing together the best teams and creating memories that will last a lifetime.